I'm going to show you each of the instruments that you can choose for sixth grade band, but be sure to check out the U.S. Navy Band's videos on each instrument because they are really, really awesome musicians and you'll get to hear some high and low notes and really cool sounds from each instrument as well. The flute is the first instrument that I'm going to demonstrate and show you guys today. The flute is one of the woodwind instruments and it usually plays the higher notes in the band. You make a sound by blowing your air across the hole at the end of the flute and it has lots of keys. So there's pretty much one set of fingerings for all the different notes, every single note you learn on the flute. See if you recognize this song. <laughs> Now that's pretty low for the flute. I can also play that same melody up high. The next instrument today is the clarinet. The clarinet is a member of the woodwind family. Some clarinets are made out of wood and all clarinets use a wooden reed to make a sound. And both the clarinet and the saxophone are played in the same way where you have a reed and a mouthpiece and you actually put this part of the instrument into your mouth and then you blow through the instrument to get a sound. The clarinet is similar to the flute in the fact that it has lots of different keys and that means there's pretty much one fingering for every new note that you learn. The clarinet plays, it can play low, it usually plays middle to high notes in the band. So here's an example of a song and see if you recognize it. Now the next instrument here is called the alto saxophone. And there are actually some different types of saxophone, but in our sixth grade band, if you choose the saxophone, you start on alto saxophone. When you get good at it, there are some other saxophones to switch to, tenor and baritone. The saxophone is similar to the clarinet in that it has a reed and a mouthpiece. It is also a woodwind instrument because it uses a wooden reed. I know that's confusing because it's made out of metal, but the reed is the key for a woodwind instrument. Now you play it in the same way as the clarinet, where the mouthpiece goes into your mouth, and you will also notice it has a lot of keys, like the flute and clarinet. So there's pretty much one fingering for each new note that you will learn. The saxophone can play pretty loud, and it plays mid-range. It can go high, can go low, but in the band it plays a lot of middle-range notes. Here's an example of what the alto saxophone sounds like. The next instrument I have to show you is the trumpet. The trumpet is a brass instrument, and in order to make all the brass instruments sound, you buzz your lip on a mouthpiece that looks like this. So, if you can do that, you can make a sound on a brass instrument. Here's what it sounds like on the mouthpiece. And you can make different pitches by buzzing faster air or slower air. That same effect happens when you attach the trumpet without pushing any of these valves. I can get different notes by buzzing faster or slower air. Then when you start pushing down different combinations of valves, you get even more notes. Here's a song that I think you'll all recognize.
right, now you get to learn about the trombone. The trombone is a very special instrument. It's a member of the brass family, but it is the only instrument that uses a slide instead of valves to push down or keys to play. You change the length of the tube by moving your slide out and then back in. Now, because it's a brass instrument, it still plays in a mouthpiece like this. You still do the same buzz. It just makes a lower sound on the mouthpiece and on the actual trombone. In the band, the trombone plays lower notes. Here's what it sounds like if I do not move my slide. I can play multiple notes in the same slide position. I'm just changing my airspeed to get higher and lower notes. Now here's what it sounds like when you move the slide. Of different notes by moving the slide out and then back in. See if you've heard this song before. anywhere the pep band is playing and the trombones get to play that really cool bass line. All right, one of the last instruments I'm going to show you today is called the baritone or sometimes it's called the euphonium and there actually is a slight difference between those two instruments. If you choose this to play in band, I'll let you know what those differences are. You'll notice the mouthpiece looks very similar to the trombone mouthpiece. It's actually interchangeable. You can play this mouthpiece on a baritone or on a trombone. Because it uses this mouthpiece, you buzz in the same way. This is a brass instrument. You might think that the baritone or euphonium looks like a mini tuba. It is basically a mini tuba. It has the same valves, the same layout as a larger tuba. It just plays a little bit higher. So if you've ever heard a tuba in the band or orchestra, it plays really, really, really low notes. The baritone or euphonium plays pretty low notes, but not as low as the tuba. If you're thinking about trying tuba in band, this is a pretty good starting instrument, and then it makes it easier to switch over to tuba later. We don't start sixth graders on tuba at the beginning of the year. Here is what the baritone or the euphonium sounds like. <laughs> about percussion. Percussion include instruments like the bells and the snare drum, bass drum, and many others. We don't start percussion instruments at the very beginning of sixth grade. Instead, everyone in the band gets to choose from flute, clarinet, trumpet, alto saxophone, trombone, or baritone. And then after our first concert, I will have percussion auditions. And any band student that wants to audition to learn how to play percussion can do so. And then I will usually select six, seven, or maybe even eight students to be percussionists in our band after our first concert. Hey fifth graders, I just wanna say thank you for watching my video and learning a little bit more about band. I look forward to meeting some of you in Zoom in your virtual classrooms later on this week. And I really hope that I get to meet all of you next year when you sign up for band.